Hey, I'm Futch, Ableton Certified Trainer, Music Production Coach. Today, I just have a quick video based on a question I got on YouTube from Flame of Truth. Uh, shout out Flame of Truth. I'll put the link to his YouTube channel in the description. The question was, when you're loop recording vocal takes in Ableton Live 11 with the new take recording feature, how do you give the singer enough time in between takes to catch their breath? Maybe you want to have a quick discussion with them or something. So the two answers I gave for that are you could extend the length of the loop bar to give them more time at the beginning or the end of the loop. So the loop's longer and there's some blank space at the beginning or the end. Or you can just take the loop off altogether and just record takes at your leisure, talk in between takes, discuss the take, give them time to get a drink of water or whatever. And uh, Ableton Live 11 will automatically save those recordings that you record through the one vocal track as separate takes in take lanes, which is super helpful. So we're going to just do that really quickly here. So I'm just going to create a new audio track. So Command T or Control T on a PC gives us a new audio track. And I'm just going to rename that to something vocals, V-O-C-A-L-S. And um, now I'm going to check my audio interface. So you can see I'm getting level. Oops. Uh, and I'm just going to double check my audio input for your sake. So I just hit command comma to bring up the preferences window, control comma on a PC. And my audio input device is set to built-in microphone. That's exactly what I want. I could also set it to my USB mic if I wanted to, but I'm just going to use the built-in microphone. So if you're using your laptop, you can try this too. So I'm just going to close that. Okay, so now I'm going to go into record ready, record arm the track, which is this circle right here. Just press that until it goes red. Now you can see it's getting level. And you can hear me twice uh, because you're hearing through Ableton Live and through the track. So I'm just going to click the stop button. That's going to bring us back to the beginning. And I'm going to click the uh, circle, which is the record button. And it's going to give us two bars of count in. And that's going to record me. Three, four, red, 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 red. Okay, now I'm going to do a blue take just to show you like these would be different vocal takes. Two, two, three, four, blue, 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 blue. Let's do a green take. Three, four, green, 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 green. Let's do a purple take. Purple, 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 stop. Okay, now it looks like we've just got one vocal take here, but if I right click and go scroll down to show take lanes, that would be Option Command U on a Mac or Alt Control U on a PC. It's going to show us that it recorded all those takes separately. And this is our master vocal comp at the top, and you can see that it just populated that with the last vocal take I did. So that's going to be our purple take. Purple, purple. Okay, cool. I'm going to take this off so you don't hear me twice anymore. Um, okay, so I'm going to just get rid of that. And now I'm just going to create my own vocal comp. So you can see I've got the pencil tool showing here. That's by hitting the B key. You can turn that on and off. And you can comp with your regular cursor, but I find using the B key, your pencil tool, is super fast. So I'm going to start it with uh, the blue take. Then I'm going to go to the green take. Then I'm going to go into the red take. Get a little bit of purple. Then I'm going to go back to green. And then end with blue and red. And now that's my vocal comp made up of all those parts. So let's take a listen to that. Blue, green, red, purple, green, blue, red. Not the coolest thing I've ever heard in my life, but serves our purpose. So now if I really want to get down there and say, okay, that one's too quiet, I'm going to change it to this one, then it automatically just bumps that take up there. Let's say this take is just garbage and I want to replace it with purple. Bang. And you can just do even this little section here. See? So now I've got my vocal comp. Let's hear that. Blue, purple, red, purple. 
Right, right. So let's say I wanted to fix that. I can just drag this across and crossfade it. Blue, purple, red, purple. Oh, it sounds like a legit take, sort of. Okay, so that's how you do that. You can give your singer lots of time in between takes. You can discuss the vocals. You can let them take a drink of water, whatever you need to do. All right, I'm going to post a, a longer video on in-depth vocal comping in Ableton Live 11 up here. You can click that if you want to get any more in-depth information. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Come back here for more Ableton Live and music production training videos. Peace.